the four kidnapped soldiers killed in a failed rescue operation in Colombia this past weekend were buried on Tuesday in Bogota in a sorrowful ceremony. The soldiers, seen here in proof of life videos, were kidnapped for 12 years by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC. They were executed by the rebels to stop them from going free when they realized a rescue attempt was underway. Minutos después de ese combate. Colombian officials say the bodies were found in chains. Three of them were shot in the head and one in the back. Only one survived, police sergeant Luis Alberto Erazo, who ran away as soon as he heard shots fired. He survived by hiding under a tree trunk for several hours until he walked out and found help. He only learned about his fellow kidnapped soldiers' fate when he arrived in Bogota. Llego aquí y me trabaja la trabajadora social y me informa, dice, no, ellos lo mataron. Hombre, es muy duro. El sueño, el, el anhelo de conocer a mi padre personalmente. Johan Martinez, son of killed hostage Livio Jose Martinez, never met his father. He wasn't born when his father was kidnapped. Papito, te quiero mucho. Today, he's a 13-year-old young man demanding an end to the violence. Como yo, muy triste sin sus padres. Ya, por favor, paren, suelten esas armas. Colombians outside the cathedral made their anger against the FARC known. A march organized via Twitter and Facebook is planned for December 6. For Univision News, I'm Ingrid Rojas.